Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. We are living in dangerous times, and this government is weak on national security. It's true. Weakness is provocative, Order. and we can't afford to be weak as a country, which is why we've brought this MPI on today. We know that authoritarian powers are on the move. We saw China and Russia sign a No Limits Partnership in February of 2022, signalling deep cooperation. Since then, we've seen Russia invade Ukraine. We've seen the PRC launch provocations in the Taiwan Strait. We've seen Hamas attack Israel last October. And now we have Houthi rebels backed by Iran attacking global trade and shipping in the Red Sea. We are facing strategic disorder that we haven't seen in our lifetimes, and it has consequences. Consider the cost of these attacks on shipping in the Red Sea. Before Christmas, the cost of moving a 40-foot shipping container from Europe to the Far East was less than $2,000. Today, it's around $4,500. Now is the time for this government to act, because those, those costs will be passed on to Australian consumers. But this government is failing to secure Australia because they are weak. It's very simple. They are weak. The Prime Minister is weak. The Defence Minister is weak. And when your political le leadership signals to the world weakness, the risks go up. 